first worshiper was now a warrior. He was a true fighter. He got himself an army of men that looked like they could not make it. See, all it takes is for the right person to be in front of people that will speak the right word that will wake something up in you. That's why you got to make sure you're in the right church. If you're in a church and you, Lord have mercy, and somebody's not preaching to you when you walk out the door, you feel like a giant, then you need to leave that church. Don't go there. I'm, no, uh-uh. When I leave, I need to feel better than I did when I came in the door. I need to know there's some more in me that I now I can go outside and fight the devil. Uh huh. If I'm at a place and I'm not being fed, I'm leaving. Now, wait a minute. David and his boys were out fighting, and before they went to war, they always went to God. David said, Now, God, should I fight? Should I pursue? Or should I stand still? What do you do when you're doing what God told you to do? And all hell breaks loose. See, I can take it if I'm going through something and I caused it on myself. But Lord, I was coming to prayer. Lord, I was reading my Bible. Lord, I was fasting and praying. What do you do when you're obeying God and you still go through hell? I'm paying my tithe and offering God. Why in the world did I lose my job? you told me to do, but now all hell has broken loose. Now, once the boys got back and they realized what was going on, they got mad. They got so mad, my God. So at first, they started crying and they started weeping. These strong warriors started weeping and they started crying but then they got mad now I don't understand how I thought you were like right here I thought you were my best friend now it's one thing for you to have a little attitude with me but then it's another thing when you get so mad you want to kill me we done we done been through thick and thin together we were supposed to ride and die I, I make one mistake, now you want to kill me? What What about all the good times we had? What about all the victories that we won? What about, oh my God, what about all the times we come out on top? No, I, that's what I'm telling y'all. I thank God I learned how to walk by myself because people are so flighty. My God, one day they'll love you today, and by tonight they hate your guts. Uh-huh, those that are on a friendship campaign, you better learn how to walk by yourself. You better learn how to tell yourself you go make it. You better learn how to pat your own self on the back. Here these same men that fought with David got so mad they wanted to kill him. So now here, David with tears in his eyes. First thing David did was look in his Holy Ghost mirror. You've got to learn how to have a Holy Ghost mirror just in case somebody don't call your phone. Well, what David started to do, he looked in his Holy Ghost mirror and David started to encourage himself in the Lord his God. See, you got to learn how to pat your own self on the back and say, girl, you going to make it. You've got to learn how to pat your own self on the back and say, boy, you're stronger than you think. You've got to learn how to tell yourself that you're coming out of this. I know it might seem hard. Hot. <laughs> 
You can't help me anyway, but I'm going to take it to a man that's able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you ask or think. Yeah. So David inquired of the Lord. I think I'm about ready for you right now. So David inquired of the Lord. And he said, Lord, you got to tell me what to do right now. I lost everything. I lost my wives. I lost my sons. I lost my daughters. I lost my possessions. Lord, even the men that were fighting with me are mad right now. But Lord, I really need, I need to hear, I need to hear from you. Tell me why will I 
trust me. I'm not about to give up. Just let me wipe my face for a minute. See, the devil is crazy. When I was down, you should have tried. You should have tried to kill me. <laughs> 